Nationality law or citizenship law is the law in each country and in each jurisdiction within each country which defines the rights and obligations of citizenship within the jurisdiction and the manner in which citizenship is acquired as well as how citizenship may be lost. A person who is not a citizen of the country is generally regarded as a foreigner, also referred to as an alien. A person who has no recognized nationality or citizenship is regarded as stateless. Principles Broadly speaking, nationality law is based either on jus soli or jus sanguinis, or on a combination of the two and even due to marital relations. Jus soli Latin, the law of the soil, is the principle by which a child born within a country's territorial jurisdiction acquires that country's nationality. Jus sanguinis Latin, the law of the blood, is the principle by which a child acquires the nationality of his or her parents. Today, most if not all countries apply a mixture of these two principles, neither granting citizenship to everyone born within the country's jurisdiction, nor denying citizenship to the children born abroad. Marriage <inaudible> 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 Many countries have in the past regarded marriage as an important status-changing event in people's lives and encouraged the special relationship that exists between spouses, sentiments which continue to be valued today. The common practice within and among states at the beginning of the 20th century was that a woman should have the nationality of her husband, i.e., upon marrying a foreigner the wife would automatically acquire the nationality of her husband, and lose her previous nationality, often with the reciprocal recognition by the other country. Even after the nationality of a married woman was no longer dependent on the nationality of her husband, legal provisions were still retained which automatically naturalized married women, and sometimes married men as well. This led to a number of problems, such as loss of the spouse's original nationality, the spouse losing the right to consular assistance since consular assistance cannot be provided to nationals under the jurisdiction of a foreign state of which they are also nationals, and men becoming subject to military service obligations. There has been a shift towards a principle that neither marriage nor dissolution of marriage automatically affecting the nationality of either spouse, nor of a change of nationality by one spouse during marriage automatically affecting the nationality of their spouse. However, in many jurisdictions spouses can still obtain special and fast processing of applications for naturalization. Topic: <laughs> Limits to nationality law. By international custom, each sovereign state generally has the right to freely determine who it will recognize as its nationals and citizens. Such determinations may be made by custom, statutory law, or case law precedent, or some combination. In some cases, the determination may be governed by public international law—for example, by treaties and the European Convention on Nationality. Nevertheless, states' rights to determine who their nationals are is not absolute and, in particular, states must comply with their human rights obligations concerning the granting and loss of nationality. In particular, citizens must not be arbitrarily deprived of their nationality. The right to a nationality and the prohibition against depriving one's nationality is codified in Article 15 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Article 1 of the Convention on Certain Questions Relating to the Conflict of Nationality Laws states, It is for each state to determine under its own law who are its nationals. This law shall be recognized by other states insofar as it is consistent with international conventions, international custom, and the principles of law generally recognized with regard to nationality. The Inter-American Court of Human Rights went further in limiting states' right to determine nationality. The manner in which states regulate matters bearing on nationality cannot today be deemed within their sole jurisdiction. The powers enjoyed by the states in that area are also circumscribed by their obligations to ensure the full protection of human rights. Topic: <laughs> Naturalization. Most states today allow for aliens to acquire a nationality via a process known as naturalization on the basis of long-term residence and other conditions. This process and the conditions it entails are detailed in the state's nationality laws. Some nationality laws have special provisions to make it easier for diaspora populations to become citizens.
Topic: <laughs> Provisions to simplify immigration of favored ethnic groups. Several countries' nationality laws have special provisions in them to simplify naturalization of favored ethnic groups. The laws in these countries appear to reflect a desire by governments to guarantee a safe haven to diaspora populations, particularly those assumed to be living under precarious conditions. A non-exhaustive list of such countries' laws follows. <laughs> Armenia. Article 14 of the Constitution of the Republic of Armenia 1995 provides that I individuals of Armenian origin shall acquire citizenship of the Republic of Armenia through a simplified procedure. This provision is consistent with the Declaration on Independence of Armenia, issued by the Supreme Soviet of the Republic of Armenia in 1989, which declared at Article 4 that Armenians living abroad are entitled to the citizenship of the Republic of Armenia. Belarus Citizenship Act of the Republic of Belarus 2002 states that permanent residence term requirements may be waived for ethnic Belarusians and descendants of ethnic Belarusians born abroad. Bulgaria According to the Constitution of Bulgaria, Article 25 2. A person of Bulgarian origin shall acquire Bulgarian citizenship through a facilitated procedure. Chapter 2 of the Bulgarian Citizenship Act is entitled, Acquisition of Bulgarian Citizenship. The first section of that chapter is entitled, Acquisition of Bulgarian Citizenship by Origin, and provides at Article 9 that, a NY person whose descent from a Bulgarian citizen has been established by way of a court ruling shall be a Bulgarian citizen by origin." Separately, Article 15 of the Act provides that, "...a NY person who is not a Bulgarian citizen may acquire Bulgarian citizenship if he, she is of a Bulgarian origin." People's Republic of China The immigration law of the People's Republic of China gives priority to returning overseas Chinese, ethnic Chinese who were living abroad. As a result of the intersection between this provision and other factors such as the PRC's poor human rights record that discourage foreign nationals in general from wanting to move there, practically all immigrants to the PRC are ethnic Chinese, including many whose families lived outside of China for generations. The PRC government encourages the return of overseas Chinese with various incentives not available to others, such as, "...tax breaks, high salaries and exemptions from the one-child policy if they had two children while living abroad." The "...rights and interests of returned overseas Chinese." are afforded special protection according to Articles 50 and 89 of the PRC Constitution. Croatia The Croatian Law on Citizenship Zakon o Hrvatskom Javlansvu, Article 11, defines emigrants and gives them privileges by excluding them from certain conditions imposed on others. The Croatian diaspora makes use of this to obtain dual citizenship or to return to Croatia. Czech Republic. The Czech Republic grants citizenship, and thus the right of residence, to anyone whose parents are or were Czech citizens unless the individual is also a citizen of a country that has a treaty with the Czech Republic barring dual citizenship of the Czech Republic in that country. Moreover, people of Czech origin might be granted the right to permanent residence Czech origin is a reason worth of consideration. In 1995, the Czech Republic amended its citizenship law to provide the Interior Ministry with the discretion to waive the usual five-year residency requirement for foreigners that had been resettled in the Czech Republic by 31 December 1994. 
This amendment was aimed particularly at several hundred ethnic Czechs which had been brought by the Czech government from the Ukrainian region of Volhynia, and was of a limited duration. The amendment was consistent with what the Czech Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs has identified as the Czech government's policy principles regarding the resettlement of foreigners of Czech origin living abroad. A private fund, the People in Need Czech TV Foundation, worked with government authorities between 1995 and 2001 to effect this resettlement in the specific instance of Russian and Kazakh citizens of Czech origin, and had resettled approximately 750 such persons as of 2000. Estonia Article 36 of the Constitution of Estonia states that every Estonian is entitled to settle in Estonia. Finland The Finnish Aliens Act provides for persons who are of Finnish origin to receive permanent residence. It is usually Ingrian Finns from the former Soviet Union who exercise this right, but American, Canadian or Swedish nationals with Finnish ancestry are eligible. The Finnish Directorate of Immigration states on its Ritternees webpage that Certain aliens, who have Finnish ancestry or otherwise a close connection with Finland, may be granted a residence permit on this basis. No other reason, such as work or study, is required in order to receive the permit. Receiving a residence permit depends on the directness and closeness of Finnish ancestry. If the ancestry dates back several generations, a residence permit cannot be granted on this basis. People who may be granted a residence permit based on Finnish ancestry or close connections with Finland can be divided into the following three groups. Former Finnish citizens Persons of other Finnish origin this group includes the persons who have at least one parent or grandparent who has been a native Finnish citizen Persons from areas of the former Soviet Union. The group includes persons who have been determined to be of Finnish nationality by Soviet or post-Soviet authorities or who have at least one parent or two grandparents who have been determined to be of Finnish nationality in official documents, e.g., in their internal passports. Also all persons who were transferred between years 1943-1943 to Finland from areas occupied by Germany and were subsequently returned to Soviet Union or who served in the Finnish Defence Forces during the Second World War qualify. To qualify for permanent residence permit, the persons in this group must have a basic knowledge of spoken and written Finnish or Swedish. The knowledge is tested in pre-immigration training and in a subsequent language test. In addition, they must have a pre-arranged permanent residence in Finland, but the labor authorities assist in finding an apartment. Topic: <laughs> Ghana. Ghana, in the right of abode law, allows for people of African descent to settle in the country. Topic: <laughs> Greece. Various phenomena throughout Greek history the extensive colonization by classical Greek city-states, the vast expansion of Greek culture in Hellenistic times, the large dominions at times held by the Greek-speaking Byzantine Empire, and the energetic trading activity by Greeks under the Ottomans all tended to create Greek communities far beyond the boundaries of modern Greece. Recognizing this situation, Greece grants citizenship to broad categories of people of ethnic Greek ancestry who are members of the Greek diaspora, including individuals and families whose ancestors have been resident in diaspora communities outside the modern state of Greece for centuries or millennia. Foreign persons of Greek origin who neither live in Greece nor hold Greek citizenship nor were necessarily born there, may become Greek citizens by enlisting in Greece's military forces. Under Article 4 of the Code of Greek Citizenship, as amended by the Acquisition of Greek Nationality by Aliens of Greek Origin Law, Law 2131993, anyone wishing to do so must present a number of documents, including available written records proving the Greek origin of the interested person and his ancestors." Albania has demanded since the 1940s that Greece grant a right of return to the Muslim Cham Albanians, who were expelled from the Greek region of Epirus between 1944 and 1945, at the end of World War II, a demand firmly rejected by the Greeks see Cham issue. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Hong Kong. In April 2015, the Hong Kong government announced a pilot scheme named Admission Scheme for the Second Generation of Chinese Hong Kong Permanent Residents. ASSG. Topic: Hungary. In 2010, Hungary passed a law granting citizenship and the right of return to descendants of Hungarians living mostly on the former territory of the Hungarian Kingdom and now residing in Hungary's neighboring countries. Slovakia, which has 500,000 ethnic Magyar citizens 10% of its population, objected vociferously. <laughs> India A person of Indian origin Pio, is a person living outside of India and without Indian citizenship, but of Indian origin up to four generations removed. It is available to persons of Indian origin anywhere in the world as long as they have never been citizens of Pakistan or of Bangladesh a reservation excluding Muslims who joined Pakistan during or after the 1947 partition. This unusual type of citizenship by descent is an intermediate form of citizenship in that it does not grant the full portfolio of rights enjoyed by Indian citizens. The Citizenship Amendment Act 2003 and Citizenship Amendment Ordinance 2005 make provision for an even newer form of Indian nationality, the holders of which are to be known as Overseas Citizens of India OCI. Overseas citizenship is not substantially different from PIO rights. Holding either PIO or OCI status does, however, facilitate access to full Indian citizenship. An OCI who has been registered for five years, for instance, need be resident for only one year in India before becoming a full citizen. Iraq Ireland. Irish nationality law provides for Irish citizenship to be acquired on the basis of at least one Irish grandparent. Note that for the purposes of Irish nationality law a person born anywhere on the island of Ireland including Northern Ireland which is part of the United Kingdom where British nationality law applies, thus, people born in Northern Ireland are entitled to both British and Irish citizenship, is considered Irish. The entitlement to citizenship of all people born on Ireland and its islands was stipulated by the 1922 Constitution of the Irish Free State, and the 1937 Constitution of Ireland and reinforced by 1998 Belfast Agreement. A person born outside Ireland with entitlement to Irish citizenship through a grandparent born in Ireland may pass that right on to her or his own children. To do so, however, that person must register her or his birth in Ireland's foreign births register prior to the children's births. Irish law also automatically grants citizenship at birth to any individual born abroad to a parent who was born in Ireland, without the need to register with the DFA prior to the granting of citizens' rights like holding an Irish passport. Separately from this right, the Irish minister responsible for immigration may dispense with conditions of naturalisation to grant citizenship to an applicant who is of Irish descent or Irish associations." Under Section 15 of the Irish Nationality and Citizenship Act, 1986. With rare exceptions the applicant must be resident in the island of Ireland before applying for naturalisation. Israel The Law of Return is legislation enacted by Israel in 1950, that gives all Jews, persons of Jewish ancestry up to at least one Jewish grandparent, and spouses of Jews the right to immigrate to and settle in Israel and obtain citizenship, and obliges the Israeli government to facilitate their immigration. Originally, the law applied to Jews only, until a 1970 amendment stated that the rights are also vested in a child and a grandchild of a Jew, the spouse of a Jew, the spouse of a child of a Jew and the spouse of a grandchild of a Jew." This resulted in several hundreds of thousands of persons qualifying for immigration to Israel mainly from the former Soviet Union but not being recognized as Jews by the Israeli religious authorities, which on the basis of Halakha recognize only the child of a Jewish mother as being Jewish. 
People who would be otherwise eligible for this law can be excluded if they can reasonably be considered to constitute a danger to the welfare of the state, have a criminal past, or are wanted fugitives in their countries with the exception of persecution victims. Jews who convert to another religion also lose the right of return. Since 1950 2,734,245 Jews have immigrated to Israel. Topic. Japan A special visa category exists exclusively for foreign descendants of Japanese emigrates up to the third generation, which provides for long-term residence, unrestricted by occupation, but most Nikkeijin cannot automatically acquire Japanese citizenship, and must instead go through the process of naturalization. However, the Minister of Justice can waive the age and residence requirements if an applicant for naturalization has a special relationship to Japan, such as a Japanese parent. Kazakhstan Lithuania From the Constitution of Lithuania, Article 32 4, every Lithuanian person may settle in Lithuania. <inaudible> Norway The Kola Norwegians were Norwegians who settled along the coastline of the Russian Kola Peninsula from approximately 1850 to the closure of the border in the 1920s. It is estimated that around 1,000 Norwegians lived on the Kola Peninsula in 1917. The Kola Norwegians were deported to or put in camps in other parts of Russia during the course of World War II. It was only after 1990 that many of the Kola Norwegians again dared to emphasize their background. Only a few had been able to maintain a rusty knowledge of Norwegian. Some of them have migrated back to Norway. There are special provisions in the Norwegian Rules of Immigration and Citizenship which eases this process for many Kola Norwegians. These provisions are in general stricter than in some other countries giving right of return. In order to obtain a permit to immigrate and work in Norway a Kola Norwegian will have to prove an adequate connection to Norway such as having at least two grandparents from Norway. Citizenship will then be awarded according to regular rules. As of 2004 approximately 200 Kola Norwegians had moved back to Norway. <inaudible> Philippines Republic Act No. 9225, approved 29 August 2003, provided that all Philippine citizens who become citizens of another country shall be deemed not to have lost their Philippine citizenship. It further states that natural-born citizens of the Philippines who have lost their Philippine citizenship by reason of their naturalization as citizens of a foreign country are hereby deemed to have re-acquired Philippine citizenship upon taking an oath of allegiance to the Republic, and that their children whether legitimate, illegitimate or adopted, below 18, 18 years of age, shall be deemed citizens of the Philippines. Poland. From the Constitution of Poland, Article 52 5, anyone whose Polish origin has been confirmed in accordance with statute may settle permanently in Poland. Portugal On April 12, 2013, the Portuguese Parliament approved unanimously an amendment to its nationality laws which would permit the descendants of Jews expelled from Portugal in the 16th century to become Portuguese citizens. Romania Romania extends citizenship to all former citizens, as well as to the children and grandchildren of those who have lost their Romanian citizenship, regardless of ethnic background. Russia Russia offers citizenship to individuals descended from Russian ancestors who can demonstrate an affinity for Russian culture and, preferably, speak Russian. Concern about Russia's shrinking population prompted the program. This has had a positive effect because this has not only reversed Russia's population decline but has also increased the birth rate. 
Officials estimate that 25 million members of the Russian diaspora are eligible for citizenship. The foreign ministry has sent emissaries to countries around the world to urge the descendants of Russian emigrants to return home. So far 70% of Russians have come from Ukraine. Many of these people are in the age group of 17 to 25 looking for a better education and a better place to start a family. With a recent increase of Russia's life expectancy and living standard more people have been willing to come back to Russia. As of the 2014 war in Ukraine this has triggered a mass exodus of ethnic Russians in Ukraine into Russia. A small amount of these people have also come from Romania and a few Siberian peoples reuniting with their families who have been split since the Cold War. Mostly immigrants have come from former communist countries. Some people returning are the descendants of Russians who fled Russia during the Russian Revolution. South Korea Overseas Korean are eligible for dual citizenship. Serbia Article 23 of the 2004 Citizenship Law provides that the descendants of emigrants from Serbia, or ethnic Serbs residing abroad, may take up citizenship upon written declaration. Spain There are three categories of Spanish citizenship. De origin original citizenship. Por residencia by residence. Por opción by choice de origin is almost exclusively acquired at the moment of birth, mainly to a Spanish parent, and can never be lost. Por residencia is acquired through a predetermined period of legal residency in Spain. This distinction is important because Spanish nationality laws primarily follow iure sanguinis, including those relating to the right of return. The third category, por opción by choice, is given to some people of Spanish origins that, though not complying with the requisites to attain the original citizenship, are able to prove close ties to Spain. This option is given mainly to the children of people that have attained or recovered Spanish citizenship after their birth, but it has age limits and one must exercise this choice prior turning 20 in some countries, like Argentina, prior turning 23, as majority of age is attained at 21 there. Most of the poor opción clauses do not confer original status except those included in the historical memory law, thus it can be lost, and, in case one possesses nationality other than those described below as historically related to Spain e.g., United States, renounce their current nationality in front of Spanish consular officials. In practice this renunciation has little practical effect, and in some cases no effect, as only renunciations made to one's own country's officials has an effect on the linked nationality. The Historical Memory Law Spanish, Ley de Memoria Historica, which took effect in December 2008, introduced temporary two-year changes to current Spanish nationality laws. Those whose father or mother were born original Spaniards regardless of their place of birth, whether they are still living, or whether they currently hold Spanish nationality and those whose grandparents emigrated due to political or economic reasons will have the right to de origin Spanish nationality. Until and while the law of historic memory takes effect, the following laws will also apply. 1. Natural-born Spanish emigrants mainly exiles from the Spanish Civil War and economic migrants and their children are eligible to recover their de origin Spanish nationality without the requirement of residence in Spain. They also have the right to maintain any current nationality they possess. 2. Regardless of their place of birth, the adult children and grandchildren of original Spaniards original Spaniards are those who, at the moment of their birth, were born to people who possessed Spanish citizenship can also access Spanish nationality on softer terms than other foreigners, they require just one year of legal residence, and they are exempted from work restrictions. This law in practice also benefits the great-grandchildren of emigrant Spaniards as long as their grandparents born outside of Spain are, were original Spaniards. Three. Ibero-Americans and citizens of other countries historically related to Spain, Portugal, Andorra, Philippines, and Equatorial Guinea also have a right of return, they can apply to Spanish nationality after two years of legal residence the usual time is ten years for most foreigners and they have the right to keep their birth nationality. Point four. Those of Sephardic Jewish origin also have the right to apply for nationality after a year of legal residency in Spain. 
Upon the rediscovery of Sephardi Jews during the campaigns of General Juan Prim in northern Africa, the Spanish governments have taken friendly measures towards the descendants of the Jews expelled from Spain in 1492 under the Alhambra Decree and persecuted by the Spanish Inquisition. The motivation for these measures was a desire to repair a perceived injustice, the need of a collaborative base of natives in Spanish Morocco, and an attempt to attract the sympathy of wealthy European Sephardis like the Pereiras of France. The Alhambra decree was revoked. In November 2012, the Spanish government announced that it would eliminate the residency period for Sephardic Jews and permit them to maintain dual citizenship, on the condition that such citizenship applicants presented a certificate of their Sephardic status from the Federation of Jewish Communities in Spain. Spanish diplomacy exercised protection over Sephardis of the Ottoman Empire and the independent Balkanic states succeeding it. The government of Miguel Primo de Rivera decreed in 1924 that every Sephardi could claim Spanish citizenship. This right was used by some refugees during the Second World War, including the Hungarian Jews saved by Ángel Sanz Briz and Giorgio Perlaska. This decree was again put to use to receive some Jews from Sarajevo during the Bosnian War. In October 2006, the Andalusian parliament asked the three parliamentary groups that form the majority to support an amendment that would ease the way for Morisco descendants to gain Spanish citizenship. The proposal was originally made by IULVCA, the Andalusian branch of the United Left. Such a measure might have benefited an indeterminate number of people, particularly in Morocco and other Maghreb countries. However, the call went unheeded by the central Spanish authorities. See Morisco hashtag descendants and Spanish citizenship. Topic: <inaudible> Turkey. Turkey's immigration laws permit people of ethnic Turkish descent to obtain Turkish citizenship without the traditional 5-year residence requirement required of others. Taiwan The immigration law of Taiwan officially the Republic of China gives priority to returning Taiwanese and overseas Chinese who are not citizens of the People's Republic of China, Chinese who were living abroad, and encourages their return. However, although Republic of China have not ceded the claim on mainland China, the government does not consider the people in mainland China, Hong Kong and Macau as Republic of China nationals. Overseas ethnic Chinese can register as Republic of China national and apply for a Republic of China passport. However, they do not automatically have a right of return to Taiwan area if they don't have a household registration there. Not all Republic of China nationals have a right of return to Taiwan area even if they hold a Republic of China passport, specifically, those without a household registration in Taiwan area do not automatically have the right of return, may be refused entry, removed or deported from Taiwan area, and an entry permit is needed before 2011. Ukraine According to Ukrainian law, anyone who was a citizen of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic who was residing in Ukraine at the time of its declaration of independence and any stateless person living on the territory of Ukraine at the moment of its declaration of independence was granted citizenship. Anyone born abroad to at least one parent with Ukrainian citizenship, including permanent residents of Ukraine, is entitled to Ukrainian citizenship. Children born within the territory of Ukraine to at least one Ukrainian parent, stateless persons with at least one Ukrainian grandparent, and children adopted by Ukrainian citizens are also eligible for citizenship. <laughs> United Kingdom The British Nationality Act 1948 conferred full and equal citizenship and settlement rights in Britain on all 800 million subjects of the worldwide British Empire. The Commonwealth Immigrants Act 1968, amending legislation passed in 1962, removed the right of entry from 200,000 South Asians long resident in British East Africa who had become the victims of the Africanization drive in newly independent Kenya and wished to move to Britain. The act required substantial connection 
To Britain, defined as a birth or the birth of a parent or grandparent in the United Kingdom, b a parent or grandparent who was naturalised in the United Kingdom, c a parent or grandparent who became a citizen of the United Kingdom or its colonies by adoption d had acquired British nationality under legislation passed in 1948 or 1964. Further provisions extended rights to stepchildren. The wording of this legislation refers to citizenship, naturalization, and residence, and at no point refers to any specific ethnicity or ethnic group. Announcing his support for right of return legislation in Britain, MP Quintin Hogg stated that, All the great nations of the earth have what the Jews call a diaspora, and affirmed that nations' special and residual obligations toward them which include recognizing their right to citizenship the immigration act 1971 affirmed the principles of the 1968 legislation giving the right of immigration to the grandchildren of british citizens and nationals born in the commonwealth nations it was in effect long enough to enable the descendants of ethnic britons to return to britain from the former colonies the british nationality act 1981 differentiated between british citizenship british overseas citizenship and british dependent territory citizenship recognizing the right of settlement only for british citizens it is notable that it was enacted after the contraction of the empire was completed and was offered to all substantial populations of descendants of ethnic britons in the former colonies See also Immigration law Foreign-born Citizenship Act History of citizenship Dual nationality Passport Political asylum Human migration <laughs>